Begin today with breaking news. Police have now made more arrests for the alleged murder and disappearance of a Kearns woman. She was forcibly taken from her home last month. Police put out the call for help to find out who did it. And as of today, a total of five people are now in jail. ABC 4's Jordan Burroughs is live there in Kern. So Jordan, what do we know? Brian, this is another big break in this investigation. Three more people were arrested in connection to the alleged murder and disappearance of 25 year old Nicole Solari of Romero from Kearns. Police last night serving four search warrants at four separate locations. So like you just mentioned, there have now been five people arrested in the murder and disappearance of Solario Romero since this first happened on February 6th. While right now we do only know a few details, we do know that Sergeant Melody Cutler with the Unified Police Department confirms that those warrants were related to the investigation into Solario Romero's kidnapping and murder. Court records show 22 year old Fernando Marquez and 38 year old Carolina Marquez, both of Mexico, have been taken into custody. Both are being held on charges of murder, kidnapping, and obstruction of justice. According to Sergeant Cutler, a third person, 27 year old Ivan Jesus Acosta, has also been arrested for kidnapping and obstruction of justice. Court documents state there is video surveillance of all three of these people, Fernando, Carolina, and Yvonne, meeting in Carolina's restaurant after the shooting occurred and before going back over to the house to clear the scene. All three of them have also been interviewed by police. Court documents say that Avon admitted to being involved into the murder and disappearance of Solario Romero, and he also implicated Carolina. Carolina declined to speak to police when they brought up the issue, and also the third person involved, Fernando, told police he was at the scene of Solario Romero's murder and disappearance. Again, this is all from police. All three of those people have been arrested and charged. I will be covering this story throughout the day, so online at abc4.com is where you will get those breaking news updates and also throughout our shows today at 4, 435, and again at 6 p.m. Report, reporting live in Salt Lake County, I'm Jordan Burroughs, ABC4 News.